That was wonderful. All right, we'll reset our clock here. Are you keeping up with us? We're switching topics here quite fast. All right, we're gonna switch again. Our next speaker is Gabriella Morello, and she's a PhD candidate with Drs. Jeremy Merchant Forde and Brian Rickard in the Department of Animal Science in the College of Agriculture. Fun facts about Gabriella, she's an officer and a member of the Purdue Karate Club, and she sings in the Purdue All-Campus Community Chorale. Although she'll not be singing her dissertation tonight, she will be talking to about us about it, and the title of her talk for the 3MT is Piglet Crushing by the Sows. So I study maternal behavior of pigs. Allow me to explain why. Figure one shows how over 85% of all the birthing systems for pig looks like here in the US. As you can tell from the picture, the sow, the mother pig, cannot do much in terms of moving around. She cannot express natural behavior as well, such as building a nest, as you can see in figure two. This system was also shown to impair their locomotion system, partially due to the lack of exercise. The problem is, if we try to take those animals out of the system and place them in more open spaces, the sows, the mother, they tend to crush more their piglets. And by crushing, I do mean lying or sitting down, literally, on their piglets and killing them. Crushing is actually the main cause of piglet mortality in any of the birthing systems. In fact, it costs nearly $500 million for the American producers every year. And the interesting thing is, some sows are crushers, some aren't. Some are bad mothers, some are good mothers, even within the same genetic line. So I spent one year studying over 1,000 sows, trying to figure out if there were patterns within their thermal environment that were driving them to being crushers versus non-crushers. And here's what I found out. Picture three shows the temperature distribution on a top view of a birthing room where many cells would be placed with their piglets. As you can tell, the differences in temperature were up to six Celsius degree, about 11 Fahrenheit degrees. Same differences were found uh, for relative humidity and for ventilation. And guess what? Those differences, they actually matter to the pigs. My research showed that the cells exposed to temperatures above 24 Celsius they tended to crush at least two or more of their piglets. Why? Because those sows, they lay down three times faster than the sows in colder temperatures. On the other hand, the sows that were exposed to relative humidity below 40%, they crushed either only one or no piglets at all. My research also showed that above 60% of relative humidity, if you don't have a good ventilation control, crushing is also going to go up. So now that we have this information, maybe we can use that to apply and better manage the pig thermal environment as we move away from the confined system. This way we're gonna reduce crushing and not only favor the welfare of the sow, the mother, but also favor the welfare of the piglets, which is equally as important in a more sustainable and feasible way for the producers and of course, for the consumers. Thank you.